Oh, tricks versus Mare. That's a that's an interesting one. Definitely advantage for him. Um, yeah, what I want to say, uh, if you unban Arabia, you will get it a lot. And that's not what I want really. I don't want to play Arabia 7-8 times out of 10 games. Because I want to also play like some water maps, I want to play Arena, I, want, I, I like the mix of the maps. This is always what I preferred. And, but at the same time, it is true that if you are not playing Arabia, uh, you are losing some crucial parts of the skill. Like, for example, the, the micro with some, some types of units you won't learn on almost anywhere else than on Arabia. Uh, the, the early age macro on land maps you also learn the most on Arabia and such. So not playing Arabia is not optimal for me either and I simply have to mix it sometimes as well just to uh, not miss out on, on that skills, on those skills that other Arabia players have. Uh, Compared to me, at least. Because, you know, let's put it this way. For example, the almost everyone is playing light caps right now on, a, on Arena. Which I'm not saying that I'm a big fan of. But simply, it's the meta there. Uh, and... Basically, the light gift micro, micro in the middle with like spear, light gift monk micro in the middle, and then followed by some free TC boom where you have to keep adding farms is actually very similar to some Arabia plays. Obviously, I'm not going exactly for the same composition, but it's it's way closer to Arabia than to Arena. It feels sometimes, and then you see the top players playing Arabia are actually better in this than the clowns playing Arena. Top, top players playing Arabia than clowns playing Arena, even though that clowns play this way more often. But simply, it's something that you get more from playing Arabia than from playing Arena. And that's that's the issue. So you need to mix in Arabia in your skill set, no, no matter what. And since we will likely have a disaster map pool, <laughs> Next week I'm likely going to play a lot of Arabia, anyways. I, will, I actually didn't vote yet, so I have to do it. Uh, maybe I will do it after this game. Let's see about it. Okay, four berries, uh, but uh, I'm not going to trash anyways. Although it wouldn't be a horrible idea, maybe. We can kind of disturb his PO. Like, he likely wants to open Genesaries here. And if we go for, for Trash, we can disturb his PO. That's quite a big thing, given that I see the berries here. Actually, I think I will go for Trash. Makes a lot of sense here. What's a CL spot? It's uh, like CL is my clan, uh, my team, and uh, I wasn't the highest rated CL player for the last week, which I'm nor <laughs> I am normally the highest rated CL player. But since this is really good, my pool for clowns for arena players. Um, now Bloodless was the CL Bloodless. Uh, was now 2k3 for the first time and he had higher rank than me, higher rating. So <laughs> I needed to overtake him to regain my my ego. No, stupid villager. Stupid villager. So the point of this trash is not to make a whole lot of damage, but we know that he likely wants to open with a castle. And uh, we want this castle to be first of all defensive, not forward. 
That's one big thing because uh, if he makes forward castle with and plays Genesis right away, I'm dead. And I think we are quite late with this. Not sure I will be there in time. So yeah, the, the point was to get higher rating than Bloodless, basically. I'm sorry about my neighbors. If about my neighbors, if you see, if you hear anything. Which I think you likely might. I still relate with the villagers, but that's fine. Drilling on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. We don't need loom, by the way. I'm never going for loom when I'm trashing. Prefer to have that one extra villager. And I've, I'm very sure that he was going for. Okay, mm, almost. That would be a good kill. And also, if we enforce the tower now, which is definitely possible, it's obviously delaying the castle for him. So, like, going for... If someone wants to go castle drop, like, if he has Spanish, Turks, uh, forcing him like this into defensive towers, into reactions, is really not a bad idea. If he's going for light caps, it's, it doesn't... it's not great, though, but... Okay, I think we have to run. We? Ah, oh, that was close. Like without loom, that, that that's risky though. Don't try this at home. But I, I still think that this is really good for me. If he wanted to play, in, if he wanted to start with the castle, and we force him into. Which I think it's very likely that he wanted to start with the castle, by the way. Anyways, we have to run now. I cannot repair. And I think it's very likely that he wanted to start with the castle because of his uptime. Like, his uptime would feel that he wanted to open Janissaries. If he wanted to play like this, he would likely go up faster. And then we force the tower, we force them off of uh, berries, that's also pretty good. Let's actually roll this one. So you cannot just kill it right away. And it should be fine, like the, the uptime isn't bad for me. The only question is if we want to go for... If we want to or go for scouts, if we want to go for stable or not. And I think we won't. Regardless what he's doing, it shouldn't be bad for me to open stable. And I, I like how, how this game is playing out so far. We didn't damage his scout, got him off berries, this is very good. Obviously a real bad map. And... Um, 
if he wanted to open Janissaries, then we definitely made it tough for him. So, not a better opening for me. Need to make sure that he's not coming, like, sometimes you would see players coming with heavy counter play, going for the forward cast like and trash. Which isn't horrible if you make the castle up, obviously it can be disaster if the castle fails. So I need to be careful about him potentially going for counter castle. Okay, now he's up. Okay, we need to house. So, so now, what what does he shows us? The castle. Yeah. So this this was really good for me. The like this will die. And against Janissary opening, I'm on stone. And I can just make guard towers if needed. So I'm really liking, liking my position right now. The light cave has to go down. Yeah, and it will. Here we go, so we killed the light calf. It's really good. We can get some relics right now. I think we also forced loom. Yeah, we, we did force loom. So all I know, we're happy how this went. And I wouldn't really say that I'm behind right now. Which I should be because the matchup is really not good. But I do like my position. Should likely be seeing this one, scouting a bit more. Right, I won't get this one, so let's go for this relic. He will get the map control within within minute or two, so the point is to get just as many relics as possible. Most important thing. Let's get there this one. Ah. Really? There will be the forward seed workshop, but this is still super fun for me. Because now... The fact that we were for a while on stone comes heavily in handy. I could be actually going imp first as well, but that shouldn't be horrible for me either because I can go imp very fast myself. Let's 
Roll this one. I don't think that he can go through there anyways, but just to make sure. Yeah, there's the fourth castle. Okay, let's get our siege tower then. He will see the siege tower. Those those outposts by him are really good. And basically the bombardments of his are also really strong. So we this is why we need to use the mobility. Very important here. Need to be producing traps, this is the most important thing. I need ballistics right now. There are as well. This is a suicide army that is supposed to do the damage. Yeah. 
Hit it. No. What a damn game. El Clasico, really. What, what a game. Ah, oh, we don't need this. Whatever. <laughs> I desperately need to relic though. Masterclass. Honestly, I think everything I did in this game was so high level there. Wow. Like the trash did work. Defense there also somewhat worked. And there it likely should be like one defensive tower. One guard tower he would save a lot. But other than that, and obviously the siege tower here. Wow. That's likely going to YouTube, though. I'm, 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 I'm pleased with this one. Well, it's not. This, this is not the toughest, though. Like Micring versus Janissaries, bombard cannons when they are like free, and you have army that you can constantly keep focusing on. It's not a it's not the toughest thing though. Like you just need to keep it splitting when in time. It yeah, wasn't that high level micro. I would say. It was decent, I could have take tank and take there some some big shots, but I think most of the time I shouldn't. Oh I didn't say GG. I'm so uh, I feel bad about this one. Yeah. I should have said GG. <laughs> was <laughs> there was too much euphoria to, to write at that point. Nice one.